Hey, hello IoT magicians. Welcome again in another very interesting demo. So today we have uh, Raspberry Pi 5 with us. So you can see that I have Raspberry Pi 5 and today we are going to explore a very good concept, a very good project actually. This is like how we can use Raspberry Pi as a NAS. Like uh, as you know, NAS is, uh, an, uh, is nothing but network address storage which allows us to save our files from computer or our mobile devices to external hard disks via some our home Wi-Fi or office wireless network. Yeah, it means uh, simple like uh, you can attach any of the external devices like Raspberry Pi, like I have attached a USB uh, like uh, dongle here or, or anything you can, uh, you can, you can attach any external hard disk or anything and that uh, external hard disk can be used as an external, external uh, storage where you can store your computer data, your mobile data or anything whatever you want to store via Raspberry Pi or via home or office uh, Wi-Fi network. So this is what NAS is. So let me show you how we can implement this here. So this is our Raspberry Pi and we have connected uh, uh, the the six the uh, I think this is 32 GB SD card, uh, 32 GB USB card. So you can you can attach any any card or any external devices. Uh, and we have made our Raspberry Pi as an NAS device. So what will happen uh, when uh, we want to store anything from our uh, network from our laptop, which is already connected to the same network, or if you want to store something from our, our mobile to the storage, we we will be able to do that. So this is what NAS works. So let me uh, quickly show you the demo how does this work so okay uh, so this is uh, Raspberry Pi and this is the storage and I'll uh, quickly show you how can I store something from my laptop to my storage device so simply I will uh, go to um, um, simply I will go to my Raspberry Pi which is 192.168.25.0 so this is uh, my Raspberry Pi and you can see that the shared folder has already appeared there which is nothing but our uh, shared device uh, which is our uh, external USB which we have uh, attached to the Raspberry Pi. So, so if you want to store anything here we can access this directly from here. You can see that it has opened here. If it will ask for a user ID and password for the first time, if you are doing it for the first time it will ask for the user ID and password and you provide the uh, proper user ID and password what you had said during this entire NES setup then you will be able to log into your this folder. So now this uh, shared folder which is nothing but uh, which is inside our uh, external hard disk and this shared folder is now accessible from uh, external world or from uh, uh, from laptop which is connected to the home uh, device. So uh, suppose uh, from my laptop I want to store something inside this, uh, mm, this USB card. Let me uh, quickly get something from my laptop and store it there so I'm going to some of my folders so from there let me let's say so the, this is the file which I'm going to put every day uh, every day is dot jpg so this is the image file which I'm going to store here in our uh, server in, the, in our shared folder so you can see that I have pasted uh, one of the files in our uh, attached uh, device here now uh, this is now completely stored in our Raspberry Pi. So let me quickly show you how it is stored, where it is stored and if you will see that I already have my Raspberry Pi um, the screen over there. So this is screen, uh, inside that screen you have, you, you see that shared folder is there. Let me now uh, log in or connect this screen with VNC viewer so that we should be able to explore the folder, whatever is there. So this is the folder in our Raspberry Pi. So if you'll see that the file has already been stored in our this shared folder here, you can see that. And if you will open this, you can see that this file has been opened in my Raspberry Pi screen. You can see this is open. So this way you can you can use any external device and you can store your local data or your laptop, your, your mobile, any data to the uh, device to the external device uh, using your home network. So this is what the concept of NAS. Hope uh, you got it and found it interesting. This way you can uh, create a storage uh, which you can easily access through your Raspberry Pi. I hope uh, you will be able to implement it uh, and you got something new today. Uh, let me know if you face any issue, need any help to this setup. I'll be uh, like happy to help you. Stay tuned because I'm going to come with some more ex uh, exciting projects. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.